Welcome back to Divine Lotus Tarot. I have another message for you all and I asked the universe, I asked God, which is a big sign, needed a message um, as we were wrapping up the month of November, closing out this, essentially this uh, Scorpio energy, this death, the rebirth, transform formative energy and dun, 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 leo came out again but this time we're just fo focusing solely on those of you who are leo males or who have significant placements of leo in your birth chart but you're males so um let's go ahead and get into the reading for you all okay i keep trying to do this leo because i feel like tapping into y'all energy y'all thoughts is like scattered all over the place and so I'm trying to like make it make sense so I'm not all over the place jumping all over giving you messages um which is not gonna help like if you're already all scattered all over the place so to my Leo males or those of you with significant placements of Leo in your birth chart who are males the first t energy um that we're looking at is the three of swords talking about a release okay there is something that you're holding on to and i'm hearing tight you're holding on tight to something that you need to let go of that you need to release okay so for some of you with the three of swords this can be some type of heartbreak okay um and this could very much be for some of you um something that has already happened that you have not fully received healing and fully properly grieved so this could be you're needing to mourn or acknowledge the loss of some type of situation experience or person that you may no longer be dealing with so that you can move on and move forward and get into a healing state so you can be open to new energy that is trying to be brought into you that I feel that you want that I feel that you have been asking for but your energy is very closed off because there's still some sadness some hurt some grief some pain that you will not let go of um, because some of you don't want to look at it you don't want to process it but what you're doing is only holding yourself back from the very things that you keep praying for and asking and then once they come and show up you're not able to receive it so essentially it's almost like what would be the best type of analogy hmm okay put it like this so let's say i'm not sure if this is an actual like rule or policy or not but let's say you live somewhere where it snowed right and the mail delivery carrier was trying to get to your home however if your sidewalk and the path to your home is not properly shoveled then they have the ability to bypass your home for their safety and not deliver your mail so it's almost like if you don't take the necessary initiative to do your part and shovel your pathway so it, it makes it easier for the delivery carrier to uh, mail delivery recarrier to get to your home then you're not going to get your mail so it's the same thing in this instance okay it's like if you don't do the work on your behalf for what is coming to you you're not going to be able to receive it so there's some type of work on your behalf that you need to do for something that you've already asked for that you've been waiting for but it's, it's almost like you're not willing to just do whatever um, task is needing to be done for this to come into you. And what I'm seeing right here, it's some type of um, energy that needs to be released. Okay, it's something that you're, you're still holding on to that needs to be released. So let's go ahead and clarify this. Okay, so whew. All right, like seven cards fell out for y'all. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven cards. I was right, and I guessed. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, so this what this what it is. So clarifying this three of swords, the judgment card has come out, and I swear every time I keep trying to do y'all reading, the same cards keep coming out. Like this message is repeating. It's the same freaking messages. So, the judgment card is coming out saying 
you have already re uh, received very clear validation, confirmation, and acknowledgement that whatever your intuition is telling you about some type of decision or choice you need to make, that is what you should be doing. And some of you still keep doubting this, okay? And not taking the initiative towards it. So there's an the energy of you needing to take the first step. Once you take the first step, the universe is going to back you. The universe is the the judgment card is saying that you are you know what you need to do that is the correct thing to do you to me in this instance for me when i get the judgment card you've made a good decision or the universe has pointed you in the direction that you need to go that's going to be a best choice for you so you cannot go wrong with making this it doesn't matter if it makes sense to other people it doesn't matter if it makes sense to like things that you've done before this is not a situation where you can compare whatever this is you cannot compare this to other situations is what i'm getting because we have the high priestess here meaning you need to trust your intuition so this may be a one-off or a unique type of situation that whatever this is i'm hearing profound whatever this is that you're being um getting some type of inkling or being guided to do it might be profound okay in the sense that it's not it's not like anything that you have been called to do before okay so this might be some type of um action that you're being called to take that you've maybe you've never had to do this before okay or maybe you feel like it's outside of your comfort zone okay but this is what you're being advised to do because it's going to lead you in the best decision um aligned with your best interests to get the desired outcome that you want okay and I feel like it's going to bring some type of manifestation that you have been waiting for. Um, I, I'm seeing finances be a, a, a situation here too that's coming up. Um, so some of you are definitely worried about um, your finances in this particular situation as well too. And once again, the universe is backing you. So you need to take the first step. Once you take the first step, it's almost like you putting um, a down payment you taking the first step is like you put in a down payment to assure the universe that this is what you really want because a lot of people can pray and ask for the things and then when they show up some people are not ready to do the necessary work or take the necessary measures to do their part to get what what they need so the universe is asking you to do your part and then the universe is going to back you um and this might be new for some of you because I'm, I'm feeling like you're just not feeling a sense of security that you're needing. I'm hearing foothold. You're, you're not feeling a sense of security that you need maybe um, for you to take this next step. But I feel like the universe is going to back you. So I'm hearing pushed. I don't know. I think the <laughs> I'm hearing pushed. You're about to be pushed. Okay, maybe this is why this is the second time I'm having to bring a message out sh to you all because I'm hearing the universe is about to push you. Like if you don't take this step yourself, because we have the judgment here, we have the strength card here, um, and we have the high priestess card here. I I'm hearing the universe is going to push you. So <laughs> I feel like the universe is trying to be patient with you and give you the opportunity to take the necessary um, step to do whatever this is that you need to do otherwise you're going to be forced and when you're forced it's not going to be something in your comfort zone so you're going to be pushed way more outside of your comfort zone than you already feel right now if the universe has to step in and push you okay so the next set of cards are the same freaking cards that came out when I was trying to do this before we got the prince of cups the five of swords the king of swords the four of cups the prince of sets of cups and the ten of cups i feel like whatever this is that you're being led to do is going to bring you to your ultimate happiness it's something that you already know is going to make you really happy a lot of you are really upping your heads with this some of you could have significant placements of i'm hearing earth but i was going to say air um i'm hearing earth placements you could have significant placements of earth in your birth chart but there's air energy here that is showing me that you some of you are like very like up in your mind um trying to like like see every type of like 
point of direction before like analyzing the situation before doing something um but but with the four of cups here lets me know that there's a potential for this to be a missed opportunity and i feel like um i'm hearing like your your spirit guides your divine guidance team doesn't want you to miss out on this opportunity and i feel like that's why they're trying to like urge you to move on whatever this is i feel like there's energy of self-sabotage here um i'm hearing sweet like i'm hearing some of you guys are really sweet um so there's there's nothing that you should be afraid of is what i'm hearing i'm hearing that you're really sweet so maybe some of you are afraid that you're going to be like rejected or that you're going to be disappointed like if you reach out um if this is a love interest and that this person like turns their back on you or they reject you i feel like the universe wants you to step outside of your comfort zone because you're really sweet and you're really nice like you have natural charm so i feel like the universe wants you to just be you like you don't have to pretend to be someone else you don't have to worry about if you're this person's type or not i feel like the universe just wants you to just focus on just being you so part of this is a test for you to step outside of your comfort zone and um there could be like issues that maybe some of you deal with um or have suffered with like dealing around insecurity and i feel like the universe wants you a part of this is testing that for you but part of this is essentially for your soul growth for you to step outside of your comfort zone and to get used to um doing things outside of your comfort zone that make you feel insecure so that's number one and then the other part of it is this is for you also to obtain something that you've actually prayed for um and do the work because i feel like for a lot of you maybe you get pursued normally um and this could be outside of your nature of what you normally do maybe some of you all are the type of males who have women hunt you down so you never really have to put the work or the effort in to um chase after either well whether it's women or men whoever this is but whoever the individuals are like you feel like um i'm hearing alpha male okay i guess maybe some of you have pride issues as well too so that could be another thing um your ego and your pride could be getting in the way um but i feel like essentially you're self-sabotaging yourself um from a situation and it's a two-part lesson for you like some of you need to kind of like get over your fear get over your anxiety get over your um, worry of being um, rejected and kind of get over yourself and move towards whatever this is that you want or this person that you want um this person is not going to chase you the universe is not going to allow this person to chase you because this is your lesson this is not this person's lesson i'm seeing pure point blank this is a lesson for you the judgment is on you that's why the energy is coming out in your reading this is your judgment this is a, a, a lesson for your soul growth over here this this is something that you need to um pass to get to your next lesson and for you to reap the final outcome of what it is that you want so it's almost like you're holding up something that you want because of your fear of being rejected like if this is like money that you all want <laughs> or money is attached to this or if this is like a new job or like a new lover whatever this is you're holding it up because of your fear because your fear of you being rejected and the universe has continuously given you sign after sign after sign that this is the time to go after it and you're letting your fears get the best of you and the thing is if you miss out on this opportunity um it's going to go to someone else i mean pure point blank um whatever this is like it's, it's not going to sit here and wait for you for you to try to figure out when is the best time or you know continue to postpone it because you, because of your fears or because of your pride and because of your ego i mean whatever it is whether it's fear or whether it's pride or ego but it's, it's not going to continue to be here for you it's it's just like anything else you know what i'm saying um when it comes to things that people want and desire like if you don't want something 
other people are definitely going to find interest in whatever this is or there's other people who are desiring whatever this is as well too like i feel the energy of you're not the only one who has your eyes on whatever this is whatever this is for you whether it be like i said a career um some other type of opportunity or a person i feel like for a lot of you some of the battle has to do with the fact that you have other people in your ear as well too okay but i feel like whoever these people are in your ear they don't have your best interest at heart number one i'm seeing the seven of swords energy here so this is very mischievous sneaky um energy of individuals who have ulterior motives anyways and i'm seeing the eight of swords meaning that these individuals know what they're doing they're intentionally trying to blindly lead you into a situation where you feel stuck where you where you feel trapped where you feel you don't have a way out but you actually do have a way out like this actually is wish fulfillment for you okay so i'm seeing the full card here once again um sh signifying like you have all the tools um, with the the alchemist here as well too you have all the tools you've done all the the research you have the knowledge you have the experience um you've reflected on this situation deep hard and long and you you have all the answers that you've been seeking to help you make a positive informed decision you don't need to keep relying on other individuals outside of yourself you need to trust in yourself um is what i'm getting and not rely on individuals who don't have your best intention at heart because i'm seeing there could be sneaky people around you who are just trying to keep you stuck and keep you from going after your goals keep you from obtaining things that truly make you happy keep you going after things that um that will bring you pleasure and wish fulfillment um i don't really want to focus on those energies too much because i just feel like they've already caused enough um, delay and blockage with you being stuck up in your head but the point of the matter is that that's their whole purpose in this situation like i said this is part of a soul lesson for you to learn how to trust your intuition okay and these individuals are playing their roles they're being haters haters are going to hate you know what i'm saying so you need to be able to use your sense of discernment which you have um and take the necessary measures um that's in your best interest that's aligned with what you know you have manifested if you know you've manifested something and you know it looks like it smells like it feels very much aligned to what it is that you have wanted then there should be no reason why you should be allowing other individuals who are not in your mind they're not in your heart they're not in your soul to be trying to dictate and tell you otherwise what is in your best interest you know what's in your best interest right so i'm only here to confirm what you've already been getting signs symbols synchronicities and messages about and then to also just let you know that um like good things are here for you like it's not too good to be true right but at the same time whatever this is there's other people <laughs> that would gladly appreciate this and jump on it right away and the universe is being I feel like very generous and patient with you by um, allowing you, you know, some type of leniency to move forward. But I like the universe is not going to continue to keep waiting and holding this back. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not only like you're not the only individual that's being impacted by this, by by your analysis paralysis type of energy. Right. Right. If this is another person, there's other people in this situation that's being significantly impacted by your lack of making a decision. So I don't really think that's fair if you really think about that, that someone else has to wait for you to try to figure and get your shit together and, you know, feel like, are you comfortable enough to move forward with the situation or to get over your pride and your ego of, the fact that you have to make the, the first move right because there's other people who would be willing gra gladly willing to move forward and jump on whatever this is be it a person opportunity or like career okay um but i i definitely feel like half the battle is just you just getting outside of your yourself and stop like 
tripping over your own mind and then the other portion is there's other people around you who are essentially jealous there's other people who are haters there's other people who are just mean and wicked who just don't want to see you happy okay and they want to keep you stuck in some type of energy that keeps you from breaking away and moving forward towards what you actually want because that is their whole purpose okay a, a hater is going to do what a hater is supposed to do like you cannot expect anything other than that i don't care what their title is to you in your life mom dad sister grandpa puppy whatever this is like a hater is going to do what a hater is supposed to do they come in all shapes sizes and titles you know what i'm saying in all types of relationships in our lives but your your point is to ask what you want for pray what you want for meditate visualize what you want for and then once it presents itself you you have to accept it it's like you can't expect everything to be spoon fed to you okay like there is some type of initiative that the universe is saying you at least need to do this in order to receive the benefits and the rewards of this desire that you've asked for and that's the least you have to do and then the universe is going to back you the rest of the way now the other message that i was getting was some of you were holding off waiting for like your finances to be just perfect and i'm getting that you have the resources that are sufficient for what you need right now to take the next move like there is nothing else that you need to be waiting for um because the universe is going to provide once you take the next move so it's almost like if there is some type of let's say i i can't put a, 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 a official amount on like what you're going to get right but let's just say that the universe is going to compensate okay once you take the next move the universe is going to step in that's not your business to figure out how or what or when or where but the, the fact that the matter is i'm letting you know the universe is going to compensate for whatever you're lacking or whatever you feel you don't have the universe is going to compensate but you have to take the next move okay so that's how that works the universe does not always tell you how the universe is not supposed to tell you how like that's your whole point of having faith and trusting you get what i'm saying because y you have to learn to release control and to allow the assistance that you've been praying for so a lot of you have uh, asked for some type of assistance you've asked for some type of help you've asked for some type of breakthrough and it's coming in the, the the form that it's coming in so you either accept that or you don't and if you don't then somebody else is <laughs> and that's just kind of pure point blank what it is all right and then whatever this is, um, provided that you all take the next step and initiate towards this person, this goal, this career, I'm hearing is sacred and is protected. So what's for you is going to be for you and it will not miss you once you take the initiative. But it's like I said, once again, it's not something that's going to be sitting here, you know, five weeks five months five years from now it's, it's not something like you can just postpone hang up on the shelf and come back to it when you want to that's not how it works but i do feel like whatever this is is very divinely blessed it's divinely protected um i'm seeing a lot of sacred energy around it so um i mean that's pretty much just the, the energy around it um i'm seeing ultimately it's, it's going to I'm telling you right now, for those of you concerned about the money, do not worry about the money because it's going to come. It is going to come. That's all you need to know. You already got haters up in y'all ears. Okay. So I'm just saying there's money here. You don't got to worry about the money. The money's going to take care of it. The universe is going to take care of that stuff stuff is going to be taken care of like some of y'all worrying way too much don't worry about all that okay just trust no and believe trust no and believe where that's a factor for y'all i don't know if that's a factor for all of y'all but i do see for some of y'all finances is definitely something that is keeping y'all from moving towards whatever this is and i feel like nope you need to just take the first step so 
for instance if this is a person you need to take the first step and introduce yourself say hello how are you doing i'm interested in you if this is a career you need to take the first step and 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 apply okay <laughs> if this is some other type of opportunity you need to make it known that you're interested in whatever this opportunity it is whether it's i don't care if it's a volunteer project i don't care if it's you know whatever this is i don't know whatever other type of opportunity that you would be interested in that is something that you're passionate about whatever it is that you're passionate about you need to take the first initiative step towards it and the universe is going to show the way after that the path will be revealed to you then it's not going to continue to give you directions when you just keep sitting staring at something trying to figure out a hundred and ten thousand ways how something's gonna go before you even take action towards it okay but i guarantee you for those of you where there is a strong desire for you to feel like you need to be at some type of financial monetary amount before you take the initiative towards whatever this is that is not true and the money will be provided you just have to have enough faith to know that the fact that you're going after something you want a way is going to be made and for those of you who have someone who is holding money over your head who could be giving you money and they're choosing not to a way will be made and that person I guarantee that person will be coming trying to run and all of a sudden assist you once they see that you actually move forward that whoever that energy is around you they know that they're in your ear okay and they they, they know they're in your ear and that's their whole point to be doing that to keep you in a fear energy from moving towards whatever this is that you want and making it feel like that you don't have the ability to do this or trying to at least hold you off even if they're telling you they're going to give you something and then they're just kind of watching you to see you know um i just feel like whoever what whoever whatever that energy is they're trying to deter you and delay you from whatever this passion is so that you just eventually just get tired and fed up and say you're over it or so if this is another individual that that person they're hoping that that person ends up getting with someone else so you just really need to factor all of that in when you're thinking about all of this um because everyone don't got your best interest in this situation is what it's, it's, it's showing me so you really just need to uh, um listen to your sense of discernment um about the people who you're thinking have your best interests that may not actually have your best interest and who could really just be self-motivated and those who really want to see you get where you want to get you get what i'm saying um because that's that's kind of what i'm saying um I'm just seeing a lot of delaying, postponing energy. But it's blessed and it's sacred. So once again, you, you don't got to wait for nobody else to make a call and make a, you know, for, for you to to be able to move towards this. I feel like some who um, the energies around you know how you operate. They know how very maybe meticulous that some of you are um, about certain situations. So if they can play it to their advantage which would be your disadvantage which means it could possibly potentially cause you to lose this opportunity that you're about to go towards then that's what they're doing in their best interest so they they're going to postpone and keep you on hold and waiting and keep keep telling you that they're going to come through for you just wait we'll figure it out i don't know i'm still trying to get answers and that ain't the case you understand what i'm saying so you don't have to wait for someone else to do something because the universe right here is telling you like they got you the universe got you baby um yeah so like what you waiting for all right that's the message that's the message all right i hope that that was helpful for some of y'all like i said that was the confirmation of another confirmation 
of some other confirmations that y'all had and hopefully it's helpful for you i mean i hope those of y'all who really are passionate about this i hope that you know that was <laughs> the confirmation you needed that will help you pursue and go after this but if not you know hey it's okay <laughs> you know but be best y'all be blessed